Statements made by United Traders, UT, or its members are opinions and not investment advice. UT is not responsible for any investment decisions made using the information provided. Improvements are not guaranteed. This material does not take into account your particular investment objectives, financial situations, or needs, and is not intended as recommendations appropriate for you. You must make an independent decision regarding investments or strategies mentioned on UT. So now that we've done that part, what I do want to do is remove that. I'm going to stay on the daily because one of the things I want to do is just kind of show you um, what a fan looks like. It, and personally, I would actually recommend you do it from the monthly. So let's just go, well, we'll do the weekly. All right. So a fan is just a period low to a period high. And the theory on the fan seems to be a recurring 78.6 as far as where you're at. Now that I have taken from a period low, I went down here to this $9 range. We're going up to this, uh, what is it, 34 bucks in, on this particular move, period low to a period high. Where would I take a profit at and where would I buy back in? The thing about AMD that I have noticed is it likes, it really likes a 78.6. I don't know why, but it does. And when it co co coincides with areas of support that I have already drawn, okay, from my Fibonacci extensions, this tells me if it fails here, I'm out. If this holds, this is a trade I want to be in. Why? Because it's holding the fan. It tests the fan, it tests support. We've got an acceptance. Can I can I take a prop? Can I start taking profit? Yes, that at what point would I start taking profit? Guess what? This pink zone where I drew the resistance from from our other Fibonacci extension. That's where I want to take profit at. And I'm staying right smoothly inside this fan until we get there. This fan is the 61.8. Do I take profit? Yes. Okay. I've been taking profit along the way. Pull back into a little area here what was once resistance now becomes support and then a test to the 78.6 again so now we've tested it and passed we're going to break above and sure enough we're going to test that 61.8 what what do i have in between here nothing so it's making one heck of a move now we're going to go up to the 50 line another pullback and as you guys can kind of see here we're going to go all the way up here and we're going to test the 38.2. Does this make technical sense for this 38.2 to be tested again at some point in the near future inside of this rectangle that I drew right here in the $100 range? This is going into next year. You could say yes or no. It could go up there right away and come crashing down forever. But that would be a target that I would try to hit if I were long and I wanted to get the most bang for my buck. I would be selling AMD all day and night around $105, every bit of it. it for me, personally, I'd be out. But that's a target that I would try to get to if I could before the year closes out. Okay, so that's just something to consider when you're looking at it. Apparently, there's some kind of math or algorithm somewhere that agrees with it because it does have key zones that it goes to across the board when you're using the different Fibonacci's. Um, so that's a fan I did on the longer term, and I use the weekly because I want to see it play out. Can you do a whole bunch of fans? Absolutely. You can do a fan from year to year. Right there. Period low, period first period high. And then we can kind of see how it played out in here, 78.6. Yep, up, we're good to go. Test it one more time. And then, but you're going to end up with so many lines in your chart at this point. Like, I would rather just, me personally, leave it at the one thing that kind of matters the most as a long-term trader on a long-term stock. If you're looking for scalps or you're just going to try to be in a trade for a couple of weeks or whatever, I still recommend you go to the long-term stock. I mean, the long-term uh, chart and chart it this way simply because you need to know who you're trading with and against. But it wouldn't be where you're taking profit or where you're setting your targets per se, because you're not going to be in the trade for weeks. Okay. So you would need to go to a shorter time frame and then redo this, but then look at overlapping areas from 
different fans, the fan from the longer time frame versus the fan from the shorter time frame, and kind of get an idea from there. Okay, this is an area to consider, right? This is an area that because the algorithms that that are clearly programmed to trade on this from back here are still still trading this thing. So you do need to consider it overall in the bigger picture uh, on the shorter time frame because the program is a program. They're not going to rewrite the program for different time frames. Um, it's going to behave in a very similar manner on in generally speaking. Um, and it's going to respond to the market basically the same way. But let me get rid of this. I don't need it anymore. All right, that extension. And this is clearly a, a very key area right here. I would have been taking profit there too, right? It makes sense. All right, 